Hello, in this video, we'll be providing a brief demonstration on how to utilize server-side simulation within Cameo Systems Modeler. As you can see right here in front of me, I have an example model for a car braking analysis. We have a set of requirements that are attached to a couple of blocks and constraints, um, and we have a couple of values uh, based on a parametric diagram that we've created. So we have a lot of equations that need to be calculated, um, as you can see here within this constraint block. Now, in order to run this equation within your server-side simulation, there's multiple different ways to do it. And there's three different ways. Through Cameo Collaborator, you can also do it through a programming interface like um, Python, Jupyter Notebook, and um, finally, directly through um, our REST API commands. So a couple of the key benefits of server-side simulation are first, it's obviously tool-free simulation. So your projects in Cameo Systems Modeler, you won't need to run them directly within the uh, tool. Also, it is a quick what-if analysis to support all of your systems engineering decisions. Uh, so you'll be able to get quick answers in real time and help optimize your projects. Uh, in addition, um, any time-consuming and resource-intensive analyses can all be done on the server side at a much quicker pace than directly within the tool. And finally, it is a facilitated way to integrate and expose your system L model executions to other systems engineering domains. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do here is actually show uh, the Cameo Collaborator example. So as you can see right here, this is what it this is what your model would look like if you are running server-side simulation directly within Cameo Collaborator. If you take a look scrolling down, you'll get an example here that shows your instance tables of all the equations that is that you're running, and you'll be able to directly modify and change these values to get your calculated results from those values. Um, so you can see here, you'll be able to run your simulations directly, get quick um, results from those simulations, and therefore speed up your systems engineering decisions based on the results that you obtain from these simulations. In addition, when accessing Cameo Collaborator within the web app page, what you can also do is you can take a look at all of the sets of simulations that it is you wanna run within a certain package, and it's as simple as going to the three um, arrow or three dots on the right hand side here and running the simulation. Once your simulation is run, you will be able to take a look at your task manager to see which current simulations are actively running and which simulations are currently in queue. In this case, this simulation has a UI we can open in a new tab where you actually get to see the physical uh, coffee machine simulation that it is that's currently running within Cameo Collaborator. The brunt of this demo is really going to be within Jupyter Notebook, and this is what I'll be demonstrating next. So as you saw earlier in this Cameo model, we had an example of a car braking analysis. And what you can do here is you can create customized scripts to run your simulations directly from the projects that you've uploaded to Teamwork Cloud. So as you can see right here, we're gonna run through this code here really quick. Um, it starts by, um, importing your PYST zip file and connecting and setting up the client it is that you're going to be running through. In this example, we have our personal Teamwork Cloud. From there, you'll be able to get a descriptor which shows the configurations of your setup and what specific items it is you want to simulate. And from there, you'll be able to actually write the equations that it is you want to calculate and get your results and post those results from that. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to take this model and I will be running the kernel here so that you can see the you can see the simulation in progress. So it started, I put my password in, and as you can see, you're running through the Jupyter Notebook and it's co connected directly to the Teamwork Cloud client that it is from your uh, Cameo model. Um, as you can see right here, um, as the simulation is being run, you can see the values being calculated live. Um, in addition, if you want to check and see which specific instances of your models are running, you can take a look at that by um, taking by grabbing the specific ID of the simulation that it is you're running. Go into your REST API commands and um, execute um, specific commands to see which certain um, simulations are running. In this case, we have an empty simulation here. Um, since the simulation had just finished, but we have a brand new simulation that it's requesting for us to run. So I'm gonna put in a couple of values here. So you could put direct different values based on what certain items it is you wanna run. 
so you can either have them uh, go automatically or you can put in custom values based on certain items that it is you want to test. Um, and one more thing worth mentioning uh, when using uh, Jupyter Notebook is you can actually connect the results that you get from these calculations and simulations to other um, analyses and engineering tools as well. So it really increases the complexity and it really provides a digital thread throughout your projects when you're um, running uh, server-side simulations versus doing your simulations within a tool side. Um, so this is just one example of running server-side simulation. I've provided another example as well, which um, will be able to show uh, direct UI interfaces within server-side simulation as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run this specific kernel, which is for a coffee machine. So uh, I'm going to be connecting to my Teamwork Cloud as, again as well. And as you can see right here, you can see that um, you get a note here that the state of the simulation is initializing, and you're also going to get a physical simulation ID. So what we can do here is we can copy this simulation ID directly in this Jupyter Notebook, paste it into the status, and you can get an update on the status based on the, I, I, on the ID that you've requested to look at. So the, currently the simulation that we've initially um, ran is now running. Um, and it also has a UI connected to it. So we can actually go ahead here, click on this UI, and you will be able to directly um, interact with the UI that it is you've set up within this model. So as you can see right here, we have a UI of a coffee machine. You're able to you know, turn on the coffee machine, um, add some money to the coffee machine, as you can see right here, and, and directly you know, work on whatever... Um, items that is you want to interact with within your direct UIs. And now if you go back, if we go back to this, um, to our REST API clients here, you can see which certain simulations are queued, which, which simulations are running, and you can get status updates and direct, um, uh, you can also, you know, do things like terminate or step certain levels of the simulation with the REST API. So this was actually gonna let me move on to my next point where you can do all of your simulation and calculations directly with the REST API as well. Uh, so one final thing I really want to share is server-side simulation advantages. Once again, tool-free simulation, significantly faster simulation. We obviously have the REST API for remote controlling uh, from external tools. And of course, the utilization of a Python client to execute your server-side simulation. So as I said, you have three ways you can run this through your Cameo Collaborator, uh, through a programming interface like Jupyter Notebook or directly through REST API. Um, so these are all of the ways that you can utilize server-side simulation within your own projects and within your own analyses. Um, and um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I'll be providing all of my um, contact information um, in the description of the video down below. Uh, once again, my name is Peter. Uh, thank you so much for your time, and um, I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on server-side simulation.